Hello, my friends. Uh, today I want to show you how to create a running configuration for simulator controller as quick as possible. Uh, many of you may already have heard or even uh, have read in the chat um, about the complexity of the configuration of simulator controller. And this is true to some extent, at least if you want to use any of the functionality which uh, this software solution provides. It is a very big collection of functionalities for team race uh, management, for setup development, for practice planning and control and so on. But to get started, it is as easy as a matter of clicks in a few minutes. And this is something I want to show you today. The first step is normally to install the software for the first time. And if you are doing that using the uh, automated installer, you will end up running simulator setup at the end of your installation. And this uh, setup wizard allows you to create the configuration for your simulation rig and the uh, games you are using to create a configuration for your button boxes and so on. But to get to an easy and very fast to use configuration, you don't need to do this. You only have to set up a few things and the wizard will help you with that. Okay, let's get started. Okay, let's skip the video. On the first page, you may have the opportunity uh, to uh, unblock applications and uh, dynamic libraries. This might be necessary if you have installed the uh, package manually without the automated installer. Uh, whenever you have some, some problems and Windows said that uh, applications are blocked, you can use this, click on this button, but normally it is not necessary. Then we go to the next page and if you install simulator controller for the first time, you have the option to do a basic installation. You can do the basic installation later on whenever you want by holding down the control key and click on basic, but normally you will go to the extended installation after your first initial one. So let's now use the basic installation. It is selected, we go to the next page. And on this page, you can do everything for your initial installation. You see the system now automatically installs additional software, for example, runtimes necessary for my uh, applications. Uh, you only have to, to um, allow the installation of these runtimes. It's, uh, these are standard Microsoft products. It tries to install a Stream Deck plugin if you have a Stream Deck uh, mounted on your system and after that it will detect all installed simulators on your PC automatically. If you don't find any of the um, um, installed sims, you, might, you, you can locate it manually. This sometimes becomes necessary if you have a very complex Stream Deck installation with different uh, repositories on different drives, but normally uh, the installation procedure will detect any installed uh, ZIMS automatically. The second thing you have to do is uh, choose your user interface language. Three are provided. Um, Let's stick to English. If you choose a different language, you may also have, uh, or you want to choose uh, different uh, units. Uh, for example, if you're living in the US, you want to use Fahrenheit as your temperature unit. We will leave it to the standard for this one. Uh, <coughs> the next step is to 
specify the push to talk button which you will use to talk to the uh, assistants while you're driving and to um, specify this button click this little um, indicator a small pop-up will appear and now press and hold a button on your steering wheel which will be your push to talk button hold it down until it is detected there it is on the fourth connected USB controller it's the third button last but not least you can specify uh, or choose the method you want to uh, the push to talk button to behave um, there are two different ones the first one is hold and talk which means you have to hold down the push to talk button as long as you're talking and the second method is press and talk which means you click the button once release it then talk and then click it again to indicate that you are ready with your command okay I prefer hold and talk but it's a matter of taste here in this area you can now choose which one of the assistants you want to use and how they will be named um, and which which language they are using and which voice in the voice generation uh, system you will be using okay renaming is simple select the name uh, go through the tabs and uh, this one is uh, Andrew for example and this one is Marcel um, we will use for all the different assistants the English language which means you must talk to them using English and they will respond in English but you can also choose different languages for different assistants once you have chosen the language you can choose one of the installed voices installed on your uh, Windows PC and as you can see there are different ones for different languages uh, okay let's hear mark and yes uh, we have three mail assistants and use a different female voice here okay and that's it you can now click here on the uh, finish flag and the system will now generate a configuration which is fully complete to get on the track and use the assistance during your race we will do this now and you're done you can always come back to simulator setup later on after you have made your first experiences with the assistance As you can see here, the basic setup will now be deselected. But if you want to go back here, hold down the control key. Sorry, wrong key. Hold down the control key and click on it, and it will be enabled again. But normally, it will be disabled. And if you will now go forward here in the setup wizard, you will get to the full installation for all the functionality the system provides. A lot of stuff but not necessary for your first experience with the software. That is it for that today. Have fun and as always, if you have questions, uh, come to our Discord and uh, feel free to ask the community or me. Help is always around the corner. Bye bye.